Hey guys, how you doing? This is Benjamin with Benjamin Exotics, and in this video today, this is just a part two of the reptile room all around update. We already went through all these snakes right here. I'll give a quick uh, go through if you guys are just going to watch the part two. But if you want to get the subscriber shout outs and everything else, I definitely recommend watching, of course, um, part one to this video. Um, but this is a pastel 66% het for lavender albino. Uh, this is a male, oh, female, should I say. Uh, this is a male spider normal, just normal spider. This is a female pastel het for clown. This is a female lesser het for clown. This is a jungle-ish kind of reduced pattern leopard gecko. Basically, just normal leopard gecko female. She's a rescue. And those were all the animals, as, long, as well as the boa, uh, red tail boa downstairs that we messed with a little bit that we went through. And I'll finish up this. It'll be a pretty quick part, too. All we have is just a few more snakes to go through. And the bigger ones that wouldn't fit in those little tubs. So in this rack right here, of course, this is not their permanent homes. Um, it could be, but it's not set up to be that way. We have um, this huge guy right here. As you can see, there's no way he'd fit in one of those tubs. He'd literally bend it and break it. This is a, or my, male normal ball python, Zugini. He was the first ever one I got. Um, if anybody was at is watching and was at the you know science fair that we did at the school um, kind of presentation such you can call it science fair uh, this is the snake that you guys saw and he is just a beast for a male he is about six years old but I mean just look at the head on that guy compared to like all my other snakes I mean my Mojave is the only one that can actually compete with him but I would love to get the pastel ball python which girl this girl right here I would love to get her to at least close to his size in the next year or so. If she starts to eat soon and really starts to pound food, um, she will go into it. But she hasn't eaten in maybe five months, so we're probably going to have to assist feed her once um, just to see if we can kick her back into food. I wouldn't recommend normally doing that, but this is a girl that I want to get to a decent size, and the first three years are the biggest amount of their growth. So this is just a normal male Zagini. He's my buddy. Anytime I want to watch a movie and just chill out with an animal that I don't want to run around too much, that isn't going to, you know, be always trying to escape him, um, or always try to escape, I'll normally pull this guy out or maybe the Mojave. These two snakes have been handled tremendously. Um, they're pretty chill. Um, they never, I mean, he's moving around a little bit. He's a little bit stressed, but um, besides that, he's just so calm, big, you know, pretty uh, girthy snake. Um, he's not too... Too fat, he doesn't eat that much, but believe me, with his size, he is, he is definitely a beast um, when you compare him to any of my other snakes. Unless maybe the Mojave might be able to com compete with him a little bit. And maybe we'll show you beside uh, the comparison with them. But he's my ambassador, he's my buddy, first ever snake I ever owned, um, at least ball python that is. And he will be here until the day, basically, that he dies. And um, what we are actually going to do, probably, is get him to go to one of the females, either this year or next year, and hold back one of the baby males. So, even when this guy passes, we'll have his offspring, and we'll have his DNA. So, you know, if you know this is a long way down the road, but it could be 30, 40 years down the road. We can still pull out this girl, this, um, you know, another male just like this, and say, see this big male right here? This was the male that uh, came from the offspring Zugini, my first ever snake. So we'll always have at least his gene pool around, and hopefully we'll have him for, you know, hopefully his days will last pretty long. We give him the best possible care. Not better than any of the other snakes, but we all we always, always check on this guy and make sure he's doing great, because he's basically the big ambassador. And as you can see, he takes up this whole tub. He's just a beast. He's absolutely great. And then down here, this is another snake that we pull out. She's not as big as he is, um, but she's definitely... Uh, way bigger than that pastel that we've got. I would love the pastel to be close to this size. If she gets close to this size, I'll be happy. I'll, besides normal health care, or, you know, besides normal care for the snakes and everything, I'll be completely happy if we can get her to the size of this female. This female is just a beast. She has never, ever, ever refused a meal for me, except for the first three times that I got her, which was, um, or the first three um, feedings that I had her, which she wouldn't eat. But then after that, got her from mice come on focus we got her off of mice to rats and she does absolutely great um every time or any time i go on a walk or anything like that outside i'll normally pull one of these two guys out just because of the biggest the most robust um and they can take the most i guess motion of walking back and forth without anything bad happening the other ones are a little bit 
smaller and more delicate. But these guys are just, she's healthy. She's not really fat, but you can definitely tell this snake's got decent girth on her, just like that big boy up there. And when you feel her, you feel her. There's no give. Like in that snake right there, he's a little bit on the skinnier side because he doesn't eat that much. But you feel this girl right here? She has no give. It's not fat. It's pure muscle. She's just a boss. And I really want to get that pastel on the top to her size simply because it's the best for the snake it's the best for you know any eggs we produce and she's going to be an absolutely amazing and great breeder um if she does uh if we do breed her the other a pastel hopefully we'll get to this size and breeding aside or you know any thoughts of breeding just put that aside getting your snakes the biggest and healthiest they can be is the best for everybody okay um the bigger the snake is uh you know Without being fat, of course, uh, the more they're going to be able to do, the more robust, uh, the better all overall for their health. Um, you don't want to grow them up and power feed them, but you want to make sure that they're taking meals consistently. On average, yes, they will go off food when they hit about that 1,100 gram mark, which is what my pastel did. And during the breeding season, most of them will go off food. But try to get your snakes. This is a Big pro tip to any of you guys. Try to get most of your snakes to be this robust size like these two guys. Yes, he is six years old, and even if it takes that long, that's fine. But make sure they're eating consistently. Make sure they're being healthy, and you don't ever want to have too much fat, or basically any fat on a snake, because their body's just not meant to take that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'll just thank you guys, the subscribers and everything, so much for supporting this channel. If you guys watched the part one before this, you guys would have seen um, all the shoutouts and stuff. I do just want to give a last quick shout-out. Maybe I'll even put my face in the camera if the uh, lighting will permit me to do that. Just a big shout-out to all of the subscribers and everything out there. You guys do so much for this channel and have really pushed it along. We've only been doing this for maybe four months. And the growth hasn't been, you know, crazy, you know, million subscriber mark. But our subscribers are not only quality amazing amazing people out there they come out in basically every single video that we do um but just the the view amount we've last uh last quarter our views almost tripled so you guys are definitely enjoying the content definitely doing some very good stuff for the content and i just want to give a great shout out especially when part one if you guys go look at part one you can probably see your name shouted out there but to all you guys out there that don't comment too much but are still subscribers and supporters of the channel thank you guys so much for, you know, enjoying the content and helping out the content and stuff like that. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video very much. Hope you gave, you know, like all these snakes. All these snakes will be doing pretty good for us for the next few years. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. And I'll see you guys later.